Well, good morning, everyone. It's 7 a.m. Uh, today, August 15th. I'm Anne Marie Green. Here's a look at some of the stories grabbing our attention right now. Personal attacks. Donald Trump veers off course while laying out his economic policy, going after VP Harris as she and President Biden are set to promote a new effort to lower prescription drug prices. Tracking Ernesto, the hurricane slams into Puerto Rico, battering the island with torrential rains and damaging winds. We're going to tell you where it's headed next. And back on stage, Taylor Swift performs in London tonight after a foiled terror attack canceled three shows in Vienna. We're going to talk stadium safety ahead of tonight's show. This is the CBS Morning News. Starting things off with politics, Kamala Harris joins President Joe Biden today for their first joint appearance since the Democratic presidential ticket changed. And their announcement is expected to help millions of Americans by lowering prescription drug prices. Meanwhile, tomorrow, Vice President Kamala Harris travels to North Carolina to unveil her own economic plans, including a proposed federal ban on corporate price gouging on food and groceries. CBS News political reporter Allison Novello is joining us now to discuss this a little bit more. So, Allison, let's dig into this uh, plan for a federal ban on grocery price gouging. What's Harris's proposal and how could this even be implemented? Good morning, Anne-Marie. That's right. We are expecting to hear this economic policy proposal tomorrow in North Carolina. That's a key battleground state. Um, according to our reporting, we hear that Harris plans to call for the Federal Trade Commission and state attorney generals to investigate any price gouging behavior from any large corporations. Uh, she is particularly focused on uh, the meat packing industry. She says this is a major contributor to rising grocery prices. Um, under her administration, she says that she will crack down on mergers and acquisitions of these large corporations while also trying to encourage small businesses to enter the market to try to increase that competition and potentially lower those grocery prices. So that's what we can expect to hear uh, tomorrow in North Carolina. Sounds interesting. Before I let you go, I want to ask you about some reporting that was originally done by The Washington Post. Reportedly, independent presidential candidate Robert F. Kennedy Jr. has asked Vice President Harris for a meeting. What do we know about this? Yes, yeah, so according to multiple sources, this attempt